Yamaha R3 Blue Crew European Cup roared back into life in Misano after a 47-day spring break for the Emilia-Romagna round, the third stage of the 2022 campaign. Even in the absence of Maxim Repak due to his school exams, a record entry of 28 riders, including six home wildcards, on the loan visit to Italy this year. And it was 18-year-old Andrea Pizzoli from just outside of Rome who took first blood on the number 37, claiming the pole and his first race victory in front of the Misanese. Yet, with the typical slipstream battle provided by the R3 Cup, he had no shortage of competition and in fact led just two laps over the line, including, of course, the most vital. Another Italian, the number 13, Devis Bergamini, winner of race two at the Aragon round and then championship leader, was again among the lead group at what is very much a home track for him, having been born just 140 kilometres away in Bologna. And it wasn't long before championship leader, Assen double winner, number 39, Enzo Valentim, was trying to take control of the race at the front. He led three out of eight laps over the line. A new fastest lap from youngster Emanuele Cazzaniga saw him leap from 11th to 6th, the wildcard remaining in the fight at the front right to the finish. 14 riders were separated by less than two seconds with three laps remaining, Pizzoli, Bergamini and Valentim remaining the favourites at the front. That group finally thinned on lap eight as Kevin Fontana, second in the championship arriving in Misano, made an overambitious move at the Quercia hairpin and went down. The Brazilian remounted and finished towards the back of the field, his run of three consecutive podiums ended. Valentim, having defended valiantly at the front, finally lost the lead to a mammoth toe on the penultimate lap for Gustavo Manso. The 17-year-old, arguably the unluckiest rider on the grid in the opening two rounds, would finally secure his first podium. He led into the final lap only for Emiliano Ercolani to bring himself into contention from seventh with two quite incredible moves. The first a bold effort down the inside into turn eight, then a tremendous switch of lines through turn nine to take track position. He was now vulnerable though to the slipstream on the run towards Curvone, the fastest corner on the circuit, and Pizzoli was best placed to strike, moving Ercolani gently off the line, and that was enough for Manso and Bergamini to follow, Ercolani dropping back to fifth. A typically close finish, just two hundredths separating the top two, and Katzaniga in fourth, only two tenths from the winner. I'm very happy for, for the race. I'm very difficult. Uh, thank you, uh, my team, people, the support, everybody. With Kevin Fontana crashing out and Enzo Valentim slipping to his lowest score of the season down in eighth in race one, the championship standings were as close as ever by the time Saturday afternoon came around in Misano. This time, though, Valentim successfully controlled the race, as has been his custom this season, looking far more comfortable than earlier on in the day as he swept to the lead in front of pole sitter Andrea Pizzoli and then led no less than six of the ten laps. A big moment for David Novak contributed to him dropping back from the leaders as the top 12 broke away in the opening two laps. The 13-year-old pole instead left in a separate group behind that never recovered. Emiliano Ercolani was the next rider to drop from the battle. After a sixth place finish in race one, the wildcards weekend finished in the gravel trap. Another of the host's representatives, Federico Yakoy, finished outside of the points in his cup debut, but was in the mix at the second attempt after an excellent opening lap. A little too good, in fact, for the stewards. And once he'd served a double long lap penalty for a jump start, he left 10 riders to contest the podium battle at the head of the field. The same four who provided the lead quartet on the penultimate lap of race one were again the main contenders in race two. Pizzoli and Bergamini came through to lead, Valentim and Manso well placed to strike. But the best action was reserved for the final lap, Valentim passing the two Italians ahead of him and then getting his elbows out to push Pizzoli aside. As the number 37 pulled back alongside in a joust for the lead, the 13 Bergamini was pinched between the two of them, having charged into a rapidly closing gap. He headed off into the gravel at high speed and returned to the track outside of the points. Meanwhile, Pizzoli rejoining at turn 14 prompted a wobble for Wehu Negroho. That spooked Casaniga, who went down. 
with Fontena and Philip Juranic enjoying his best ride of the season. Now ahead of Pizzoli, they both made a late beard to hunt down Valentin for the win. But Fontena left the circuit altogether on the final turn and was fortunate to escape with second. Juranic just four hundredths of a second from the win in third. A first podium for the steadily improving Czech, while of the main championship challengers, it was Valentim and Fontana who successfully steered clear of the last lap chaos in race two. Me, I'm really happy with the race. Um, it was a bit hard the weekend. Uh, for me, it was a difficult uh, track comparing to Ascent. But in the first race, I made a mistake. I touched with a the rider and I lost a lot of positions and I finished eighth. Uh, not the best position, but I could have some points. And now this one, I was giving everything to win, to open my gap to the championship lead. So I'm really happy. I want to thank everyone uh, that support, uh, support me, that sponsor me, and is that's it. Let's that see in the next round. Valentim extends his lead over his fellow countrymen, thanks to Fontana's race one retirement, while Pizzoli enjoys his best scoring weekend yet and moves from fifth to third. Racing resumes after a month-long break with the UK round in July.